It's Amy Raphael with the Friday Red Alert for December 18th with the Jerusalem Connection Report. Jeremiah 33, 6. Behold, I will bring to it health and healing, and I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. I found this verse this week when I was on the Breaking News Israel website before a headline regarding the IDF. But before I get to that, I also found an article published by Caroline Glick on December 3rd. She was writing about the increase in incidents of anti-Semitism in the last year, despite the rise of both awareness and funding for groups to combat it. Organizations raise awareness for two separate points. The fact that the BDS movement and its uh, subsidiaries are hate-filled movements on college campus that single out both Israelis, Israel the nation, and the Jewish people, thus making it anti-Semitic. They also point out the intellectual dishonesty that accompanies these groups and rhetoric and that many students are duped into thinking that they're supporting a true human rights issue when they are not. Ms. Glick points out two recent case in points that happened in the last two weeks or so. Daniel Bernstein, a University of California Santa Cruz student, who's also an elected student government representative and the head of some Jewish um, organizations on campuses, were told by his colleagues not to show up for a student government vote regarding BDS movement and sanctions they were to take. They messaged him not to show up because of his Jewish nature and his um, involvement with Jewish groups meant that he had a Jewish agenda and therefore would not be objective in his vote and they asked him to abstain. He ignored this directive and he went to the vote anyway and of course he voted to oppose it. He also issued a public statement just after the vote indicating not only did he feel the sting of blatant anti-Semitism, discrimination based on his identity and his expression of his faith and his political ideas, he also lamented the fact that this anti-Semitic atmosphere seems to be a way, way of life on UC campuses throughout California. Across the country on the East Coast, just days later during a million student march where the topics were supposed to be social issues such as free tuition, freedom of expression, and other safe zone topics that college students are talking about, the National Association of Women's Studies tagged onto it its own protesting protests at the SUNY Hunter College campus. SUNY is the City University of New York system. They demanded that all supporters of Israel be banned from campus, and their chant was, quote, Zionists out of Sunni. While Hunter College administrators said that they don't condone or agree with the message, no action was taken to stop the rally and no disciplinary action taken thereafter. They were simply said that it was their right to express themselves. This is just another example of how some legitimate social agenda items that are up for debate on college campuses are being hijacked by BDS and anti-Semitic movements solely to condemn Israel and the Jewish people and its supporters rather than have anything to do with any true human rights issues. No academic or intellectually honest debate or critical thinking exercise would ever have this be a valid position and it can't be noted as anything other than prejudice and discriminatory. In our nation, where folks are supposed to have freedom of religion, expression, and political belief, especially on our college campuses, and every single interest group of a variety of sources, including ones that jar even the most traditional sensibilities, are offered space and even celebratory parades, it seems that the Jewish people and the Jewish nation are uniquely pointed out not to be afforded any protections or any favor. They are often rallied against, often with lies and inaccuracies. And this often dupes many of their own followers into thinking they're espousing human rights issues when in fact they're just hurting them. To continue this fight against this trend of rhetoric, the IDF is actually getting involved. This brings me back to the first article I found. While their duty is to defend Israel from its enemies, particularly in the Middle East, they have now realized that this defense needs to extend to U.S. college campuses. The IDF humanitarian arm called LIDI, L-I-D-I, Fund, used Hanukkah's eight days to raise money for groups that will support Jewish students in their combat of the BDS movement. They raised over $8,000 for the LIDI USA. 
funds, and they will use those monies towards education programs and support other mechanisms that Jewish students can access to educate and espouse the virtues of Israel and the Jewish people and correct the record against these rallies that are BDS movements on campuses. You know, 54% of Jewish students on U.S. campuses, most of whom are American citizens by far, have personally felt the effects of anti-Semitism. That could have been through some sort of speech, some sort of signage, or outright physical threats. These funds that the IDF and LEDI are providing are to combat movements that are against the Jewish students, as well as the State of Israel, and offer truth through awareness and education. U.S. institutions of higher learning should foster debate and free speech, but instead they're allowing the proliferation of hate-filled and inaccurate speech without giving any sort of equal arm for some sort of legitimate debate. When this Breaking News Israel website had that Jeremiah 33, 6 verse, it just reminded me how we have to place our trust in God and His arm to follow through on our efforts to combat these things. But that doesn't mean we stop our efforts. Writers such as Caroline Glick, whom I've met in person in Israel, she's a wonderful woman, I admire her greatly, and entire agencies such as the IDF are providing a great model for all of us to take action where we can, support groups that are supporting the Jewish students, support education groups, combat BDS at every, at every measure we can, whether it's writing letters or, or raising awareness. Shavuotov, have a great week. Shabbat Shalom.